Okay, another how-to video on fifth scales. More specifically, the oil to fuel mixture. There's all kind of gadgets out there that you can buy that'll say, that'll have like uh, some guy over 40, he sent me his motor for his DVXL. He couldn't get it running. It turned out to be compression. Fixed it, sent it back to him. He got a little syringe that has a long tube on it that says, okay, for one liter, 25 to one, it'll have a little 25 to one. But there is a much easier way to do it without having to buy something that maybe costs five, 750. I use this tiny little thing right here that goes up to 60 milliliters, which I never go that high. When you're working with <clears throat> ratios, all you do is take, say, uh, 32 to 1. You take the 1 and divide it by 32. Actually, let's do 25 to 1. That's what most of the... And there are, are apps as well, like two-stroke gas oil mix. They're great. But, personally, I, if I don't have that app and I just have... I have a piece of paper. So 25 to 1. 1 divided by 25 equals 0 0.04. Now you have to realize with this you're working with a thousand milliliters. So you have to move the decimal point over to the thousands. So move the decimal three times over. Tens, hundreds, thousands. And that's how you get what is blinking orange. I mean red. Oh, okay, that's on my chargers. Huh. I saw it on the... Uh, my fiance got a uh, Samsung uh, S8 Plus, and it's just like glass on the back. But, for 25 to 1, 40 milliliters to every liter or 1,000 milliliters. Same thing. A liter and 1,000 milliliters is the same thing. That's the great thing about the metric system. It's zeros. You're using nothing but zeros. When you go to the imperial system, which is using only two countries in the entire world, America and I believe it's Thailand, um, you have to have all these different equations to figure out, okay, how do I do this to this and this? Uh, yeah, it's a pain in the butt. That's why I wish America would go over to the metric system, but so many things would have to be changed. Our street signs, miles per hour. I do like miles per hour. But I'd get used to kilometers per hour. Especially when you look at something that says 500 kilometers per hour. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, but, so yeah, that would be 40 milliliters to a liter. Now say you're doing a gallon. A gallon is about 4.2 liters. So you would take 40 times 4.2. So, 40 times 4.2 is 168. So if you had a gallon, you would add 168 milliliters. I don't, I'm not exactly positive if there's 4.2. I was just sort of guessing in my head about how many liters, and maybe a little more, how many liters are in a gallon. But if you're using four liters, that's how you do it. If you're using half a liter, uh, divide 40 by uh, by 2. That'll give you 500 milliliters. That, that would be 20 milliliters to 500 milliliters. Now, say you're an oddball like me and you like to use 30 to 1, 32 to 1, and 35 to 1. Well, again, 1 divided by 30 equals 0.0333333 uh, continuing. Again, move the decimal to the right three times, 33.3 .3 milliliters per liter. A liter is a thousand milliliters, you gotta remember that. So that is, what was that? I believe that was 32 to 1? Oh no, that was 30 to 1. Okay, 32 to 1, going even leaner with the oil, uh, would be, uh, it shows up 0 0.03125 again. You have to move the decimal to the right, three spaces, so it would be 31.25. So 31.25 milliliters of oil to one liter of gasoline. And lastly, 35 to 1. 1 divided by 35 equals 
point zero two eight five seven. Again, move the de decimal to the right three places to get to the thousands. So that would be twenty eight and a half milliliters at thirty five to one. With me, I only like to do a liter at a time. Some people like to do a gallon. Personally, every one of my vehicles run, well not every one, but like two or three of them run different. My Baja 5T, I tried 32 to 1 in it, it got a little too warm, so I ran 30 to 1, everything worked great. My Baja, 35 to 1. My low C uh, DVXL, 35 to 1, well actually closer to about 32.5 to 1. And my HPI 5SC, 30 to 1. So as you see, I don't use 25 to 1 at all because once you get with the better oils and better products, you don't have to richen it up as much. Like with the oil that comes with the vehicles, throw that shit away immediately. I hate to say that, I love their vehicles. Uh, Horizon Hobby, HPI, uh, well not Horizon Hobby, Low C. Low C is a part of Horizon Hobby, so that's why I said that. I love their vehicles, but the stuff that comes with it you have to realize you're buying a nine uh if you were to buy these vehicles part by part you're looking at double the price so they're really not going to give you the best oil that's why you're going to want to go to a uh a power sports store where motorcycles are sold uh quads are sold uh i'm used to calling them quads atvs side by sides uh, anything with two stroke and that's where I get mine at uh, I'm on, almost out of Maxim caster 927 next I'm going to go to uh, caster no uh, Amsoil Saber Pro because I know people that use 70 to 1 so just curious 70 to 1 1 divided by 70 would be 14.2 milliliters to a liter that's running quite lean, but I've actually seen no problems with it because it, it's it's a synthetic, so it's a lot better. A lot of people stick to certain oils because of the smell of all things. Um, I know some people that will not change their nitro fuel because of the smell. Like when I changed uh, my nitro fuel, first I tried, I had, all I had tried was Traxxas. Well, then I tried Byron's, which has uh, synthetic and castor oil on it. And then I tried O'Donnell's 30%. I'm stuck on O'Donnell's 30%. It's a little bit thicker, so the fuel itself uh, will work somewhat as, and now I'm on nitro. The fuel itself will work as a lubricant to a point, but it's all synthetic. Some people don't like the smell of fully synthetic fuels. So that's one thing you have to realize. And then you... You also get into the stoichiometric ratios uh, between gasoline and nitros. I'll get into all that when I start doing tuning videos. I'll just say stoichiometric ratio of a gasoline engine is 14.7 to 1. That would be to every 14.7 parts of air, one part gasoline. With uh, nitros, it's 1.7 to 1 or somewhere around there. So 1.7 parts of air to one part fuel. The power density with nitro and gasoline, if you were to hold, if all this was full with gasoline and then you had a ne one next to it with nitro, the one with gasoline has more power in it once burnt. Once it's burnt, uh, gasoline is just more powerful and you wonder, okay, why, why is it that my little nitro motor can put out so much power? You have to realize how much fuel is being shoved into that tiny little uh, combustion chamber and that that's a lot of fuel and that large amount of fuel is going to make a big explosion and that's also why you have to have uh, I mean of course like anything you have to have fuel pump but you have to have pressure pushing that fuel with uh, with a car a actual vacuum is created which sucks the fuel from the carburetor lines into the airflow but with nitro carburetors, the pressure from the exhaust is actually pushing the fuel into the airflow, which is completely different. And that's why we have needles to set, especially the high speed needle. That, that sets when you have that thing wide open, full pressure going into the tank, 
only this much fuel is going to be allowed by. And some people have got the RB modification, RB, mo no, RB innovations uh, superchargers to work, but honestly, on a nitro, no, I'm going to spend money to get it built correctly. Uh, ported polish, you got RB mods, you got so many different places, but I'm getting way off topic. And also, you got a fifth skill supercharger. You're looking at about $262. I'll just buy a Zenoa G320 and get it pour, or port it and polish it. I do that myself. I don't do that on tape because those are my secrets. Sorry. So, yeah, that's uh, oil and fuel ratios. It's, it's a very simple thing. And if you don't have any special little thing and you want to run your fifth scale, now you know how. There's no need for any special gadget. All you need is something that can measure out a thousand milliliters or a liter of gasoline and something that can measure milliliters of oil. This isn't exact, but it gets me very close. Closer than something like this size would because this thing only goes up to a quarter of a cup. And this was two dollars. I'll need another one soon because the numbers are getting wiped off. But that's it. Uh, very easy. Uh, very easy to learn. Just remember one divided by uh, 32 to one. Just divide the one by the 32. Then move the decimal point three times to the right. That's how much oil you add to one liter. And then if you have more than one liter, you just multiply that by how many liters you have. That'll tell you how many milliliters of oil to add to said amount of fuel that you have. So I think that's it. Got any questions, comments, thumbs up, subscribe. That's up to you. I'm just trying to help. Have a good one.